Hi, I'm Tom Fuchs, the MFDA's Senior Construction Manager with a progress update on the FM Area Diversion Project. South of Fargo-Moorhead at the Wild Rice River structure, the second of two gates is now in place and concrete girders have arrived for installation at the bridges spanning above. Work continues to progress across the project site with the gauge well structure and riprap placement underway on the upstream side of the structure and engineered channel excavation is continuing on the downstream side. More than three quarters of the work on the wild rice structure is now complete. Nearby at the Red River structure, piling continues to be driven to help anchor the 75 foot tall structure. Crews also began placing concrete for stabilization slabs beneath the structure's stilling basin on the downstream side. Stabilization slabs will protect the subgrade soils from weakening due to ongoing construction traffic and will provide a solid platform for installing the Stilling Basin's concrete formwork and rebar, which will be placed in the coming months. About 400 tons of rebar will be installed within the Stilling Basin Foundation, a portion of nearly 3,000 tons that will be installed for the entire control structure. Nearby where work is being done to raise a 4.2 mile stretch of Interstate 29, You'll notice that the bridge girders went up on the northbound Borrow Ditch Bridge. The I-29 project will need to slow through the winter months and ramp back up in the spring. North of the metro area, ASN Constructors is continuing to excavate the channel and build up the embankment. As the channel excavation grows, the excavated material berms will rise to nearly 20 feet on both sides. Crews have now surpassed 1.8 million cubic yards of material excavated to date on the project. A team of 100 employees is working around the clock with an array of 60 pieces of new equipment to make progress on the 30 mile long stormwater diversion channel, which will be completed by 2027. Get more behind the scenes looks at the people making history with this project by signing up for the Diversion Current monthly newsletter at fmdiversion.gov.